What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe and today we will be doing the Shell Cup, the first cup to introduce the retro courses for this game. And for this part we are going to be playing as Toad. And as always I have my build ready. Got the Wild Wiggler, off-road tires, and uh, just a random uh, glider. So hopefully that'll help help us out here. And here we go. We're gonna start the Shell Cup. And I think honestly, um, the retro courses that they chose for this game are pretty good. They look pretty nice. And they're pretty traditional in their level design. So first up we have Moo Moo Meadows from Mario Kart Wii. I actually do like the new aesthetic in this course. Kinda has a either sunrise or sunset setting to it. Oh yeah, and I <laughs> I, I like the music here as well. It was pretty... Oh, <laughs> that was pretty nice. Gone with the shell. Yeah, like I was saying, the music here is pretty fantastic as well. Yeah, I believe this is uh, one of another one that I wanted to re uh, release the remix of, but couldn't because, you know. <clears throat> yeah, and the cows are obvious hazards, so uh, don't run. Don't think about running into them, or else you'll have a bad time. And also the Monty moles, you gotta be caref careful of, but. You can do tricks off of their mounds. So that's useful if you want to get a lot of speed in. Yeah, they did a, uh, they did a really nice job. Uh, like doing a reimagining of the re retro courses like uh, this where they have nicer textures and stuff like that. And there's an easy win for moi. Next race. Uh, I don't in terms of my favorite of the retro courses, I'm not really sure, actually. I'm only aware of the new cups, which would be the Flower and, and Star Cup, but I don't know about any of the retro cups. Mario Circuit from the GBA Super Circuit. I never... I never really played that game. The most I know about it is, um, it's mostly like the... Super NES game, like the first Mario Kart. And I have played that before in it. The controls aren't really really the best. So that that has that has to be my least favorite out of all of them. But the music here is nice though. Again, I, I'm thankful that they, you have the ability to hold on to two items. It was traditional in uh, past Mario Kart games, but they randomly decided to take it out in the Wii U version and bring it back here. 
Guess they were being a bit indecisive, I guess. Yeah, this is already going by a lot faster. Some of these retro courses are a bit short compared to, like, the new tracks. Which, you know, I, I don't really mind. You know, you have your... your insanely long courses and your... And your short courses. What matters is that they have to be fun to play through. Otherwise, if there's nothing there, then... you know... <laughs> would be fun. Alright, halfway through. So far, not too shabby. Not too shabby of a performance. This is a new recording session. So, I'm hoping to record all of the retro courses today. Cheap Cheap Beach from DS. Again, one of my personal favorite handheld Mario Kart games. I have a lot, a lot of fond memories of that one. This was, I, I think this was one of my favorite courses in the original, actually. Like having the beach aesthetic. Uh, my second favorite handheld Mario Kart game would have to be Seven. Seven was pretty, was pretty great, but um, the courses in that game were pretty bland. So. I enjoyed this game a lot more than Seven, actually. But then again, Seven introduced uh, a fair amount of new concepts for the series. So you gotta commend it for that, I guess. <laughs> That's always a clutch move. Like, you you put a banana behind you at the last second to uh, get, get rid of the red shell. Whoever's behind me has a shitload of red shells. Probably have a triple. We'll try to get to the finish as fast as possible, though. No, we don't need that. Done. Again, it's <laughs> it's really useful that you see you can see the map on the screen. Too bad you don't know uh, what your what the items your other opponents have. I remember in in DS and Seven you can actually see. Uh, well, actually, was it in Seven? No, I think it. I remember in DS you could see what your uh, opponents had. Toad's Turnpike from 64. This is a good course, but they they made some radical changes to this course. It's a lot a lot faster. And they made it a lot shorter. And they add this, where if you take that ramp and fly, you can fly over the bridge. Which I think is pretty cool. And there's always got to be a course where you got to avoid traffic. So don't... Just make sure you don't hit the cars. <laughs> Otherwise it'll spin out. I 
I also like these optional anti-gravity uh, paths you can take. I don't even know if they're uh, any faster than going on the normal road. But I take them anyway just to, you know, just for experimentation, I guess. And since these courses are smaller, then that means the opponents will be more clustered together, which makes it a little more awkward and a lot more competitive. So you gotta watch out. And again, if you're in first place, uh, just be prepared to get a lot of coins. Because that's all you're going to get, or ever going to get. I wish, I really wish that it was like an optional thing that you can turn on and off. Getting coins as items. It's always frustrating. And another winning streak for us. Cool. Yeah, that was pretty short. It, it was only like 12 minutes. But that was pretty fun anyway. I enjoyed it. I think in terms of my favorite lightweight character to play as, it would prob probably be Toad. And I do like how they made the highlight reels more dynamic. 1350. Got a long way to go before I unlock everything. Guess I'll have to do that on my own time. And with that, I think we're going to call it an episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and in the next episode, we will be doing the Banana Cup. See you guys then.